Hello, John Croner with Bullseye Trader, and I'd like to welcome you to tonight's Market and Holly update for Thursday, April the 5th. Let's take a quick look at what happened. Uh, first, uh, you know, we have uh, our symbols sorted by uh, the percentage change, and even though gold closed lower, according to the chart here, it's up because you can see here it gapped down so far, it actually closed up from the gap down, but uh, gold was down uh, a bunch from yesterday. Uh, you know, TLT uh, bonds uh, pulled back as well. The IWM uh, gapped up and then, uh, you know, uh, had a very, very nice day. We're uh, right up here, uh, right at the 50 day moving average now, uh, coming up on the 20. The uh, Dow, good day there as well you know we had uh, the three days green in a row which was very very good uh, you know so uh, we're very happy to see the three days we're above the 20 we're approaching the 50 uh, the big key here is going to be if we can keep this momentum going keep it going or are we going to go up roll over and come back down so you know we are at the point where we just have to wait and see what the market tells us it's going to do the spiders had more of a doji type day, uh, you know, definitely up on the open, but uh, closed pretty much uh, right at the same place it opened. So, uh, you know, uh, not much there, even though you can see the travel time. And, you know, what you want to pay attention on these charts is the size of the candles that you're seeing. And what that is indicating is the volatility. You can see here on the way up how how nice and controlled everything was you know everything was pretty small in scope so uh you know with the volatility we have going on today you can have a major major spread so this is why we keep talking about you have to be so careful with your stops your entries and you know your share size and just knowing what you're doing it's it's not a time uh, to, to gamble so uh, you, you want to watch what you're doing and be very very careful and you know have a plan the cues same thing that they, they gapped up and uh, you know you can see you know gapped up pulled back and kind of had a somewhat of a choppy day but uh, still closed above where yesterday was and the uh, IBB is the one that did pull back uh, you know and closed below where yesterday close so uh you know we'll, we'll just have to watch these markets and s s see what happens our uh, trade of the week uh this week actually is the ge and it has not triggered so there's not much to talk about for that uh our holly today and uh of course as we're talking about holly she is the artificial intelligence and trading uh developed by uh, trade ideas and she's always watching the entire market for that statistical advantage and today risk off profit she made 50 cents and uh, risk on profit she lost 31 cents you can see here uh, you know she was doing very good but then uh, the last part of the day uh, she, she did have some trouble uh, let me show you the little charting that I do uh, you know, we had seven short trades for a loss of 99 cents. Risk on profit was a loss of $2.01. On the long side, we had 14 trades. Risk on profit, $1.48. And risk on profit, $1.71. So the uh, long certainly did much better than the shorts in, in today's uh, market. And we're showing you here overall 21 trades. 50 cents profit, 31 cents risk on profit. So it was a risk off type of day. And as, as we look at the different trades, you can see here we made a profit from 26 cents down to loss of 48. Uh, she had a couple, uh, you know, reduced risks that she got out for. She hit her stop on two and one she uh, had the profit save. Uh, which uh you know got her out of that one on the long side of things uh we're gonna have to make this just a little bit bigger to 
to see it all. Uh, we made 60 cents on the uh, MOV here, and uh, you can see how nice of a trade that was. Uh, and uh, you know, just going down the ALK, let me move this back up just a little bit. There we go, we can see most of it that way. And uh, her, her biggest loss was 15 cents. In fact, she only had the one losing trade on the long side on the risk off. So it was a good day for Holly uh, overall uh, you know, on the risk off side of things. Now, I'd also like to invite you to our trading room that we have uh, run by Barry Einerson. And this is available to you uh, free of charge. Uh, if you go to this link right here, you can get the information and sign up for that. You will get a log on, and the room is open from 9 o'clock in the morning till 3.30 Eastern Time every day. And Barry will show you how a lot of the software works. Uh, he trades his own account. He is very, very good. Uh, he keeps good control of the room. And as I said, there is no charge to be in the room, so you'll get a lot of good ideas. You can learn a little bit more about this software. So if you haven't already, you know, go ahead, uh, go to this link here, and I will share that in the YouTube video as well. So that, uh, you know, down in the comment section, you can get that and sign up for that and take advantage of that, uh, no charge. Also, as always, would invite you to follow our blog at bullseyetrader.com, like us on Facebook, Follow us on Twitter and Stock Twits. Make sure you hit this thumbs up button on the bottom right of your video. That lets other people know you like it. You know, if you feel so inclined, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And please share this with your friends and like-minded people. I want to thank you very much and God bless.